got Danny down there working on triangles, getting them all sanded nice. We got the garden popping over here. Oh, part of it anyways. What else we got going on? Oh, we got the sun getting ready to charge up our batteries. Free electricity people. And over here. Oh, well, here. Oh, yeah, we got barrels. We got barrels. We got barrels. We got pipe. We got a rocket mass started. Yeah, we got barrels. But what are we doing? Let's see barrels, fire bricks, drain opener, crystal kitty litter. What the heck are you about to do, Nomi? What are we doing today? We're building a double barrel rocket stove, baby. Let's build some. You ready? Let's go. Come on, people, let's do something, even if it's wrong. It's time to build a rock mass, so we got our barrels going on here. This was our prototype that we did, and I'll uh, sort of explain what's going on here with this. This is we got two barrels, one I cut in half and put back together as a figure eight, and I put the barrel on top for the J-tube, so you put your fire in here, your chimney comes up over here. Then it double backs around on their sides. Well, we'll explain that more later. I liked this one, but I think I can do better. One reason, I found a barrel with a removable lid. <laughs> That'll make things a lot easier. And I'll sort of tell you why. Because up here, this is where all the heat action goes, once the chimney's in here. And uh, the reason I cut this out is because I want to put a piece of thick steel plate on top of here because a thin barrel will not hold up to the kind of heat it's going to warp and bulge and burn through and all kinds of stuff so if we put a nice thick piece of plate steel on here it'll work pretty good by having a removable lid i'll be able to take the whole thing off i'll be able to take it off and get a vacuum cleaner in there and clean it out when it's necessary so there you go I already got this barrel marked out where I want to cut it. Let me get some stuff together, and we'll get her done. All right, guys and gals and gnomies and nomenclatures and all that stuff. Let's talk about rocket stoves and how they work, huh? All right. You've heard me say many times before that we love using rocket stoves because they are super efficient. They actually burn 80 to 90% more efficient than your traditional wood stove by using three main principles. The three T's of efficient burning. Time, temperature, and turbulence. How do they do it? Let's see. Now, here we have your basic rocket stove set up with your barrel and your chimney and your J-tube and your feeding over here. And, uh, yeah, that's sort of what it looks like on a cross-section on the inside, if you imagine it right. Anyways, this is how it works. Basically, you feed your sticks in over here, and yes, I did say sticks. You don't need to use big logs, big lumber, big nothing. You can pull branches out of your yard and stick it in here. And it works perfectly fine. So basically when you start your fire here, you get yourself a horizontal burn going on with your standard flameage that comes off of your sticks. Once it comes over here and enters your insulated chimney area, it 
comes up as it rises up here, it hits the top of your barrel and it starts to slow down, which creates that turbulent effect that you see going on right there. Now, as that turbulence goes on, it reignites all those gases. And when those gases reignite, it makes them cleaner. So basically, by putting the barrel on top of the chimney, you're, like I said, you're slowing down the gases, giving it the time it takes to ignite, give it the turbulence it needs to make it super hot and slow down and burn efficiently. And then it starts trickling down the side of the barrel, moving over to the exhaust right here, which goes into a mass, baby. But we'll talk about them later. All right, back to work. All right, we got two half barrels. One's a little taller than the other one. That's the taller one. That's the shorter one. So what that's going to do, it's going to replace that ring I got around there. I think it's going to make a better joint because... These barrels are a little bit bigger on the inside. You should sit right around the outside of that one. Hopefully. Alright, since I'm too old to work on the ground, I gotta come over here and clean up this mess. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, where am I gonna put all this stuff? Because I need room! Alright, this mess ain't gonna clean up itself. Nope. I'm gonna plant my mint today. <laughs> Yummy! Let's get her done. Voila! Oh, yep, I got her up there. Bench all cleaned off. All right, normally nomenclatures. We gotta make these look like that, but better. All right, I took the top off. Yeah, we gotta connect these together. You can sort of see how I did it. Overlap the bottom, but rather than having this as a separate piece, yeah, rather than having this as a separate piece, it's all going to be one part of this pack. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see how it goes. All right, I don't know how well you can see this or not, but I got her marked out. So we're going to leave this piece here, cut that out. Cut this here, make a flappy do there, cut there. Da, 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 da. Ready? Time to cut. And voila! Alright, we got this one cut out. These are our flappy dudes we're gonna bend over once we slide it inside there. And if you'll notice, this has got a lip on the bottom of it. Comes up about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Well, this bottom's gonna slip on the top of that. So what I did is I done cut the lip off where it is. So, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, set the camera down, see if I can slide these together. Okay, we got these together. And we got a couple places they're touching. Right there, there's a high spot. Right down here, there's a high spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it there, cut a groove so that slides in. And i got to get a compass out and scribe an edge along here. We'll make that fit so it slides right in. Well, I was going to use a compass, but I figured out that this pen is just the right thickness to do what I need. To do. Uh, uh -huh. I'm liking it. Now, I'm gonna do the other side. Bend these little tabby doos over. Hook this thing together. Then we're we'll about ready to put our J tube in here. J tube. Echo. 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 Alrighty, dighty. We got her screwed together. Those tabby dues bent over. We have to trim them up. But, uh, yeah. I'm liking it. So, clean all these sharp dealies around the edge. And uh, we're going to see that barrel over there. No, not that barrel. Probably this barrel. Yeah, I forgot to plant the mint. I'm going to do that. They're not happy. Got to get them in the ground. Anyway, this barrel. Let's clean up these edges.
righty dighty. There we go. Abby's all cut off, bent over, screwed together. I think we're ready to start building the J-Tube. Time to get bricky with it. All right, gnomies, let's talk about fire bricks. We got two different kinds here. One reason is because that's all we can get. Second reason is it's okay because they're two different temperatures and we can use them. Two different strengths also. The higher temperature are a little bit softer because they got more insulative properties in it compared to these. So we're going to use these up around the edge where it's going to come in contact with wood going in there and stuff so that doesn't erode the bricks. But anyway, these are a 2200, let's see if we can get a good label. Yeah. 2200 degree. 1200 degrees Celsius, and I already know these don't have stickers on them, but they are 2700 degrees. So let's get this laid out here. I got all the ones on the bottom, and uh, I had a scrap piece of hardy board laying around, so that'll be nice and flat for me. Because what I want to do is I want to glue this bottom down and set it in here before I start putting all the other bricks on top of it. And then we'll fill it up with insulative, non burning stuff. All righty dighty, there we go. All right, this is our rough layout. We got one brick to cut, two bricks to cut, three bricks to cut, and that's it. That's basically going to be the layout. That's going to go inside here, and we're going to build an insulated chimney around an eight inch piece of pipe there. It's not going to be quite that tall. We'll cut it off. That gives you a good idea. All right, I'm going to take this apart, make the cuts i got to cut, and uh, yeah, get everything going, because we got to start filling this thing up, too. Because if we don't start filling that up, this ain't going to go in there. You'll see. All right, I got this base ready. I got these all lifted up, cleaned off, ready to go. We're going to wet these down real good, because I want to put a little bit of adhesive. We don't have too much. I don't want to have to run to the store. So we're going to put a daub at least on each one of these but remember dealing with masonry products wet it down real good otherwise it dries out way too fast all right we've got all them glued down we're gonna let them dry nice and slow for a little bit here because that sun's creeping up on this area fast and we don't want to be working in the direct sun with this stuff it dries out too fast especially the next step we got coming up so we're going to take a break let this rest wait till the sun goes down a little bit then we'll uh move right along do to do do to do well looks like we got some weather coming there's actually some rumbling going on. Hopefully there won't be no lightning, but now's a good time to take a break. Get stuff cleaned up so it don't get rained down. All right, no more sun's getting ready to set. Sorta, as much as it does up here this time of year. I'm gonna clean up, put everything away, pick it up again tomorrow. While I do that, enjoy the sunset.
top of the day, nobies. Well, wasn't it an awesome sunset? Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. We get one of them every night. It's amazing. And they are so long. You can just sit here and enjoy them for hour upon hour upon hour. But today we can't. We got stuff to do. Now, when I left you last night, we had started putting the bottom together, gluing everything together. Well, you ever been working on a project? You're laying in bed at night, it's going over in your head, back and forth, thinking about it, making sure you're doing everything right. Well, I had one of them moments about 1.30 last night. I just kept thinking, something ain't right. Something just doesn't look right. The measurements don't look right. So I double-checked the plan. And guess what? It was off. So, 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm out here in my skivvies, taking it all apart before the glue dries. Anyway, today we're back on track. And we got a special treat for you. Because we're going to show you how this thing works on the inside after we fire it up. So, let's see where we're at. All right, Nomers, as you can see here, I did have another brick in here. Took it off because this thing was too long. I'll show you a few specifications, right? No. All right, so 24 inches, 16 inches, 42 inches. That's what we're after. This was 27. No good. Means we're going to have to do a few more cuts, but that's okay. At least I figured it out before this stuff set up for good because as you can see, it gets hard. All right, let's get this all finished, laid out, and get her together, and then we'll give you a sneak peek of what it looks like when it's burning on the inside. inch rocket mass core and minus one brick par for the course we're always one brick short of a load that's okay that gives us a perfect opportunity because i don't have to put this one in yet and what i can do is i can slide a piece of glass in here like this because this is fireproof glass and uh you can see what this thing's gonna look like burning on the inside yes! where do you get content like this only here on the gnomestead Give us one of them thumbs up, would you? And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe. It's like on one of these corners over here somewhere. There, over there. Thanks. All right, gnomies. We're all set for our test burn. We got a nice piece of fire glass there, so we're going to get an inside look on what it's doing. But I'm hungry, so we got dinner coming. We got... Warming up roasted corn from last night. Check this out, bubbly bubbly. Check out that bubbly bubbly. Alright, I gotta eat something. We'll be back. Alright, know me, my homies. Dinner's over. Skeeters are repelled. I'm gonna try and fire this up. We'll check this out here real quick. This is according to proper specifications and dimensions now. And uh, we posted that once, but here it is again. So anyway, what I done did is I put some. Let's see if I can show you here. Oh, don't get Put some paper down in there. And like uh, all the principles of fireworks, get your chimney hot, it'll draw. That's why we did that. That's the first start on this thing. So I'm gonna set us up in the tree pod. Doing skeeter. Yeah. And uh, see if we can fire this thing up. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, one other thing real quick. This will be getting a insulated chimney, which is about two inches thick of super insulated fireproof stuff but until then we're going to use this and we put a piece of fireproof gasket around there because we want to keep this as airtight as possible so it works properly it's not going to work as efficiently and awesomely without the barrel on top of it because remember earlier we were talking about time temperature and turbulence so but this will be a good test and give you guys a cool view what do you think what do you think huh all right you can sit back up on the tree bed.
All right, let's see what we can do here. Like I said, I got paper and stuff down in here. To get this to chimney the right proper way, you got to tell it where the chimney is. And by doing that, you got to make it hot, hot, hot. So there's going to be fire under here. Get that started real quick, y'all. Real quick here. Yeah, real, real quick here. All right, it's going. The cardboard just didn't want to light. So that's going to let us know, let it know that that's the chimney. Let's get her going over hell. Oh yeah, you can already hear it going crazy. Wait till you see this fully go in. Really folks, this is all the size you need to use. It ain't much. Let's see what we can do now. All right, it's really going. Not burning efficient yet, but you can hear it. Holy cow, you can hear it. Hear it. Now we're gonna get this going, and it's gonna, uh, yeah, start burning good. We'll see how this thing works. <laughs> we're gonna get horizontal fire going. Horizontal, sideways even. Oh yeah. Oh baby, listen to her go. This is why they call it a rocket. Sideways burning, baby. It's a working. It's a hot. And it's a working. It's a rock. Is that not freaking cool? Like I was saying, this is where your initial burn goes on. That's why it's regular flames. Once it's going up in here, all your gases are starting to build up in here. Well, they'll build up when there's a barrel on top of here and slows it down because of the time it takes. And this will start vortexing, and then it'll really get hot up in here. That's why this is going to have to be insulated, too. But uh, I'll show you how it's working. Pretty good. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Rocket, baby! You all wanted rocket? There's your rocket. Oh, yeah. Flames are going down. Over. Gas is coming up. Uh-huh. 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 Just listen to it. Uh -huh. Alright, check this out. This is pretty cool. Look at these flames right here. They're going down. Upside down backwards 
against the laws of gravity. It's incredible. Check it out. Now you do need to manage your air intake on your J tube there on your feed side. Simple brick. The logs actually do a lot of the work for you. Notice when I pull this off here, it increases it a little bit. Get that rocket going. Shut her back down a little bit. Now on occasion, if you've got too much opening for air to come in, you'll see smoke starting to back up right about there. See that? Yep, close her back down. Take care of the problem. There you go. Rockets. Rocket stove, baby. Perfect. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Put your comment down on the bottom. Click the subscribe down on the bottom. Click the like button. Down on the bottom. Or make a comment. Down on the bottom.